I know. Tell me about it. Oh, and did you speak to Louise today? She still owes me a packet of digestives. No matter what she says. She knew they were mine and she ate them anyway. Cheeky kid. Anyway, it's getting late. I better get to bed. Early start tomorrow. I'll see you on Saturday then, yeah? Alright. Bye bye. Sounds windy out there. Suppose it's always windy in Britain. Just surprised it's not raining. Now, where did I leave my bag? Um. Oh, okay. Bit late for a... Well, bit late for anything, to be honest. I wonder if it's Louise with my digestives. Hello. Uh, hi? Can I help you? Maybe. I'd like to help you first. I'm fine, thanks. Just, just wait, 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 wait a moment, please, please. Hear me out. Okay. Basically, well, your planet is probably going to be blown up by aliens later tonight. Oh, right. <laughs> What makes you think that? I've seen the aliens. And I think you have too. Have I? Oh yes. And you're the key to thwarting their plans. I'm really confused right now. Right, basically. I'm Doctor Who. And together, we're going to save the world. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Good morning. It's not actually morning. It's only been like five minutes, but you're waking up and I thought I'd... Never mind. I've made you some tea. I didn't know if you took milk or sugar or salt or anything like that, so I just gave you psychic tea. It'll taste exactly the way you want it to. I don't like tea. I can't believe you just said that, but you've had a rough day, so I'll let you off with it. It's psychic tea anyway, so if you don't like tea, don't think about tea. Wait, you still haven't told me who you are. I have. I told you my name was Doctor Who. Want to elaborate? Not particularly. All you need to know is that you saw some aliens and now they want to kill you. Aliens? I saw aliens? Yeah. They're called the Quadrion. The Quadri what? Quadrion. Quadri what? Intergalactic nuisances. They've been on Earth for years, constantly trying to control the population or harvest its resources or even their current objective, blow it to oblivion. They used to do small things like poison water supplies or interfere with radio waves to send subliminal messages, but there was always someone there to stop them. But with each defeat, they've grown stronger, wiser, powerfuler, powerfuler. And now they've moved on to a much more serious scheme. And I believe you witnessed a part of it. Me? You. The thing with the Quadrion is that they're hiders. They live in the shadows. They're not seen and they're not heard. They've got a massive spaceship hovering somewhere above the Earth, but it's so well hidden, even I can't find it. So to be spotted by a lowly human is an insult. Plus, you now pose a threat to their plans. So, they'll want to kill you. But they didn't. You're still alive. But I don't... I don't remember any of that. Concentrate. Concentrate. You didn't pass out for no reason. I psychically entered your mind and tried to bring back memories that had been forcibly suppressed. They're in there somewhere. You... you did what? I have no idea who you are, but first you storm into my house claiming that aliens are going to blow up the planet, and now you're saying you knocked me out using your mind. Not on purpose. In retrieving the memories, I pushed a bit too hard and... Look, 
please just hear me out. Think really hard. You saw those things, didn't you? Big black shadowy creatures down a dark spooky alley. No, I didn't. I have no idea what you... Hang on. Exactly. I did see... something. Go on. They... I think they took me somewhere. I remember lying down and being examined. I feel like they operated on me or something. Probably the mind wipe. This isn't real, is it? You've somehow tricked my brain into thinking it really happened. It's some kind of Darren Brown thing, right? Does it feel like a trick? Well, no, but it would be a pretty rubbish trick if it did. What was that? The Quadrion. Quick, run! I still don't know why I should trust you. Oh my god! Stay where you are. Trust me now? Yes! And come on, out the front door. Stop. Leave the girl. Quick, in here. Why is there a phone box here? Long story. In. What? <gasps> Whew. Well, that was intense. What the? How does... How can... What the hell is this place? Right, okay. Breathe. Breathe. It's okay. You're safe in here. Am I? Yes. I promise. Look. Look into my eyes. But I... I don't... I... Look into my eyes. Wow. Your eyes are weird. Thanks. Now, exposition time. You're in the TARDIS. Travel and recreation done in style. It's bigger on the inside and it travels in space and time. Uh, I think I might collapse. Try not to. Don't worry about working out how it exists, just accept that it does. Just that like you should accept that I'm a several thousand year old Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey. Gally... Gallifrey. About 250 million light years that way. Or 30,000 that way. I forget. Is it not still, like, aliens outside? Yeah, but they can't get in. This place is impenetrable. Any more questions? Have I not dealt with enough tonight? I need to lie down. Sorry, but we've got a world to save. You say the Quadrion took you somewhere. Any idea where? Not a clue. Right. Well, we can head to one of their previous hideouts and maybe work it out from there. You know where their previous hideouts are? Obviously. Who do you think thwarted all their previous plans? Now, get ready for this. We're about to take off. Ah. Well, that sounded... ill. Yeah. The old girl doesn't want to take off. She is upset about something. Ah well, never mind. If at first you don't succeed... Whoa! Very cool, right? Yeah! I mean, I'm being chased by murderous aliens and I'm running away with a complete stranger who knocked me unconscious and gave me new memories, but... Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Quadrion, and yes, it is. One of the only hideouts I haven't got rid of yet. We're right underneath a forest in Siberia. Now, let's see if all this equipment still works. Still kind of hard to get my head around the fact that we've moved, but honestly, my brain is just mush at this point. I don't blame you. It's a lot to take in. You know, I don't even know your name. I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. I've told you mine. I'm the doctor. Doctor isn't a name. It's my name. Alright. Keep your secrets. I'm Robin. 
Robin Taylor. Pleasure to actually meet you, Miss Taylor. Sorry for the odd circumstances of our introduction. That's all right. You're an odd guy. I expect most of your days are like this. Well, yeah, I can't really argue with that. When are you going to tell her, Doctor? Whoa! Where did he come from? He was probably here the whole time. Expert hiders, remember? You're too kind. I try. Wait, what did you lot do to me? Did you kidnap me? The doctor restored your memories, did he not? Yes, but they're still a bit fuzzy. So, care to clear things up? The doctor thought we planned to place a bomb somewhere on this planet. Please don't. Don't what? There is a bomb, and he knows where it is. Please. Doctor, what aren't you telling me? Look, it's just... I just... It is you, girl. You are the bomb. What? How can I be a bomb? You thought they did surgery on you. They did. They placed a bomb inside of you. And you knew? How did you know? When the TARDIS refused to dematerialise, it's because she detected it. She panicked because there was a dangerous weapon on board. And you didn't tell me? I didn't want to worry you. I just wanted to come here and look at the Quadrion technology to hopefully work out some way to reverse engineer it and find a way to but deal with it. But you could have told me! Like you said, you had dealt with enough. I didn't want your brain to explode. Well, now it actually might. Okay, poor choice of words, but still, I'm sorry. How does it feel, Doctor? How does it feel to have finally lost? I haven't lost. I've stopped you so many times before, and I will stop you again. Hand me your TARDIS key. What? Hand over your key, or I shall detonate the bomb. You wouldn't. You'd destroy yourself. I would rather survive, but I'm willing to sacrifice myself. Give me your key, or the planet dies. Why not just kill me? I want you to suffer. I want you to suffer for all the things you have done to us. I want you to stand here, knowing that you cannot save this girl as the seconds count down to destruction. All the things I've done to you, I've stopped you from conquering a planet of innocent beings. Precisely. You have prevented our conquest. And so, you must suffer. Your key. <sighs> now. Robin, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for all of this. Here. Doctor. The key to a TARDIS. Once the planet has been destroyed, we shall recover your ship from the wreckage. I expect it shall come in useful. Goodbye, Doctor. Doctor... He's gone. Transmitted away by his pals up in orbit. Why did you do that? Do what? Give away the key. I had to save you. I had to buy us more time. Is there actually any way to stop it? I don't know. Maybe. Yes. Probably. I just need to... I just need to... Oh, they've deactivated all the equipment. Well, how does the bomb even work? Shouldn't it be infecting my insides or something? Not if they did it right. It's like a medical implant, except, well, you know. The TARDIS seemed to think there was a transmitter in the bomb, transmitting a signal to the Quadrion spaceship. The Quadrion ship was, in turn, transmitting a signal back to the bomb, like some sort of continuous loop. As soon as the loop is broken, either manually or by the countdown running out, the bomb detonates. Come on! There must be some way to turn this thing back on. After everything, everything I've ever done, I cannot lose now. Doctor, calm down. The whole planet is in danger, Robin. If I don't find a way to solve this... Oh, sorry. I'm just... Uh, I'm just a bit stressed. I don't usually get stressed. This head is still quite new. I don't like it, it's too scared, too vulnerable. This isn't me. You talk a lot about your past. Have you done this for a long time? 
What, fail to save people? I've been doing it for thousands of years. Well, the Earth's still here. I wasn't always me when I saved it. I was other people. Better people. Strong, brave, intelligent, funny, good people. And you're telling me you're not any of those things any? <laughs> I'm not. If I was, I'd be able to solve this. Well, maybe you just need a hand. A what? Maybe this you, whatever that means, needs someone by his side to help out. Do you think so? Yeah. Maybe the Quadra men aren't as wise as you think. They put the bomb in me to make you suffer. To make you feel like you'd failed, but actually, they gave you exactly what you needed. A bomb? A friend. Someone to be there for you. Someone to smack you in the face and tell you to stop whining. You've got a planet to save. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Ow! Stop whining. You've got a planet to save. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. We have got a planet to save. Great! Because I don't want to blow up. Now, do you have a spare TARDY key? TARDIS, and maybe I'll have to check my pockets. We might be here a while. If you had a doormat, I'd tell you to keep a spare one under it. Well, I don't have a doormat. But I do have a cubby hole above the P. A what? The P in police. There's a cubby hole with a key in it. If I've replaced it since last time. I'll give your leg up. Got it! Oh, you dancer. Still, we've got nowhere to go. I can't actually find the Quadrion ship. Well, there must be a way. I'm transmitting a signal to it, aren't I? Yes, yes, you are. I can just follow the signal. You are brilliant. I try my best. Come on. We've got a planet to save. Quadrion Prime, sir. You have returned. What of the Doctor? I have his TARDIS key, and he has been left with the girl. And how long is left of the countdown? Not long, Prime. We can speed it up if you wish. No. I shall look upon this world in its final moments. I would have rather conquered it. But the Doctor forced my hand, and he shall die for it. What? What is this? It is impossible. The Doctor. I will not let him defeat me again. Kill him the second he emerges from his ship. Yes, Prime, sir. Oops. Hiya, boys. You. Yeah, and him. Hiya, boys. Kill him. Do that and I'll detonate. You cannot detonate yourself. Do you want to test that theory? Ooh, now this must be the transmitter thingy. It receives her signal and bounces it back. It keeps the bomb from detonating. And it's conveniently small. Mind if I just... And it's mobile. Thank goodness that worked. There was a 50-50 chance of that going horribly wrong. No. Stop him. Stay back, boys. It would be very easy for me to detonate that thing now, so don't test me. I will not win this time, Doctor. I will not let you. Really? After everything? I have consistently beaten you. Everything you've tried to do to this planet has failed because of me. But I'm almost at the end of my tether. So I suggest... You leave, go home, and never return, because if you even think about touching this planet again, I will rain hell down upon you, the likes of which the universe has never seen. You wouldn't. Wouldn't I? Bear in mind, I'm the guy who wiped out the Time Lords, and then brought them back again, so I can do whatever I want. So I'll say this once more. Bog off. Alright? Your silence says it all. Oh, and I'm changing all my locks, so that key's pretty useless now. Good little lads, looking forward to not seeing you again.
What shall we do, Prime? He makes a compelling case. We shall take our conquest elsewhere, rebuild our forces. We shall leave the Earth alone. For now. That was... interesting. Thanks. Did you mean it? Mean what? The stuff about raining hell on them if they did anything. I was trying to intimidate them. I'm quite notorious in some parts of the universe, and that can come in handy sometimes. But I'd like to think that's not who I really am. I'm just a wanderer, seeing the universe and righting wrongs wherever I find them. All that stuff about raining hell. I know you hardly know me, but... Do you think I could do that? You have a time machine. You could literally do anything. No, I mean... Do you think I could? Ah, we're here. Where? Well, I figured you'd want to head home, get some sleep. It's been a long day. I'll fix you up a portable transmitter so that bomb never goes off. If I can get it small enough, you could wear it as a necklace. Just don't break it. Or, well... <laughs> all that? You're just dropping me off? I've just got to get back to regular life? If you want. Well, what will you do? Same as usual. Travel about the place, make bad jokes, eat way too many lotus biscuits. Alone? I guess so. Unless... If you want. Who wouldn't? If you're sure. I'm really not. That settles it then. <laughs> this is mad! Where are we even going? Not sure. Everywhere, I should imagine. Everywhere? Everywhere. <laughs>